This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun with a sentry safe. I just bought one for the sole purpose of experimenting. It's out in my driveway right now, and we'll head down there in just a moment. But first, I want to tell you what I got and what I'm planning to do with it. I ordered the model SFW123GDC, it's this one right here, and it's a 90 pound box that's secured by both a digital keypad and a tubular lock. According to the company's website, it provides security protection, fire protection, and water protection. Now I can't speak to the fire and water protection, but as for security, that's the reason I'm making this video. There's a lot of confusion out there about the level of security that's provided by products like these. And frankly, I think that confusion is understandable. It's a pretty heavy box, it's called a safe, it looks like a safe, it operates like a safe. But I think worst of all, the confusion seems to be actively cultivated by the company. If we read this manual, we can see that it explicitly anticipates that owners will keep valuables, things like jewelry and watches in it. And of course, we would only do that if this product were to provide some sort of theft protection. Unfortunately, this carefully crafted appearance of security is really a very thin veneer. And to demonstrate just how weak this product is, I'm going to try to open it up using a very low skill attack. I'm going to use a handheld circular saw to try and cut the safe clean in half. Given the weak construction, I would be very surprised if it takes more than a couple of minutes. So let's head down to the driveway and see what happens. Well, that went about the same as I anticipated, and what I think should be very clear right now is that the security provided by this product is very low, probably about the same or lower than just putting things in the trunk of your car. Now that we can see the cross section of the safe body, the weak construction is really laid bare. It starts with a thin piece of sheet metal, probably thinner than what you would find in your average filing cabinet. That's followed by some fire insulation that was probably poured in, and then we have a plastic liner on the inside. Clearly nothing that will stop a thief with even basic tools. So, if you're in the market for a safe to protect your valuables, make sure you know how it's constructed, because much of what you'll find in stores is woefully deficient. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.